Hello everyone and welcome to Immortals of Avium, a new first person mage game I think. I barely know anything about this, also I wasn't sent the key or anything, I bought this with my hard earned cash. Okay dude, I forgot who stands for this game. <laughs> but maybe you know it's a banger game, I don't know. I enjoyed Wild Hearts, this could be fun. I think it got like an average of like a 7 out of 10, so it's not the worst thing of all time. But yes, welcome and I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe out there. Or maybe even getting some Mythimu merch, you know. You never know when you might need some of that. I really appreciate every Everyone who has bought so far, so thank you so much. But now, enough chit chat. It's time to get into this. So, strap yourselves and grab yourself a little snack, some water, and without further ado, let's begin. Let me do my settings here. Get all that up there. That's the ultra, actually. Let's see how it looks. Uh, Apprentice, Magnus, or Immortal. Let's do difficult. Immortal. I mean, I feel like we should be all right. The description didn't scare me, so we're good. There is a wound in our world. At the center of Avium, the wound grows larger by the day, threatening to swallow all of the five kingdoms. Our rulers ignore this as they wage their ever war, fighting over the control of magic. The powerful Magni, rulers of magic, lead their armies in an endless, doomed cycle. If there is hope, it will not come from this. Them. Wound, Avium, Five Kingdoms, Everwall, Magic, Magni. Well, here we go here. So, I don't have subtitles on. But, I mean, the designs are cool. The thing is, though, I, I remember seeing, like, a gameplay trailer some time ago. Wait, is he still talking? What's with the audio right now, though? What is going on? Different game? As careful as last time. As careful as... That's not a word. That's no, no, okay. But the audio is always off in these games. Like the music is way too loud. Okay, it's Luna and Jack here. Oh, that is nice. I like that. First person. Oh my god. Okay. I need to do all my settings. There we go. This is the highest FOV as well, which is 90. Look at that. That looks cool. I right, sprint on this. On, I mean, we'll just we'll just play it with the Oh, I'm on top of her. Wee! Subtitle, gameplay subtitle. Camera bob. I take this off, actually. Oh. Double jumping. I like that. Can I jump off. Don't jump off a lich. I kinda wanna try. I would just have one of those. That's fine. Um yeah, I wish I could up the FOV by like 20 more, maybe, but. Side. Let's cut through the market. I hope the gameplay is good, man. We're playing Harry Puttington. Yo, do this. What? Take that up. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. That's a hint that he lost his family. Every game character lost their family. Boing, boing. Jump on it. Oh, oh, that's actually speed on tread. I like the main theme though. It's like it feels very familiar. Listen to it. Where's that from, man? Where, where's that? There's a very similar theme in some other game or movie. Am I thinking of just like Transformers? A specific rim, maybe? Here we go. <gasps> Tutorial time. We shoot by shooting. Boom. Okay, yeah, but that's the thing. Like, it's probably gonna feel nice. I just hope the enemy variety is fun and the other mechanics are good. For this just to be a decent little game. The problem is it's like 60 euros slash dollars. And if you don't care about the story, I don't know how long the game is. So I don't know if it's worth the price. But we're gonna judge it from just like what we have right now. Oh, I actually can do that. I also like how you actually reload like a gun like this. It's no different than just replacing a gun with an arm. Be you know, called Babs. I'm not joking when I say this right now. Babs means well, it's not really a real word <laughs> in Danish, but Babsa is boobies. So Babs could be boob. If you think about it. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. <laughs> this guy's just more British for some reason. I find it so weird, man, that every time a game wants to make someone, like, a little bit extra there, like, it needs to seem a little bit foreign. They just put a little British accent on them. They were the, asking this question, a hundred foot tall crab or one hundred... I could take the small ones so easily. Like, it's so fucking easy. <laughs> All these questions. See you later, though. Enlistment contract, right? Bring... What was... What, how do you say that? Fife? Fifth? Gonna lie? We're not gonna lie. No one's doing a duty. If what you're trying to do is, like, what you think is the right thing to do, then who's stop you at the same time though gotta weigh how much you have to lose which is usually everything so i don't know if i, I wouldn't do it you know if i had a family and friends and shit i wouldn't do that shit i'd just be harvesting these tubers but in video games we're the ones to make the change what the f oh i thought it was like tadpoles oh is this caleb happy birthday luna i hit it big tonight 
Think fast. I'm also not present, British. Such as it is. What's that in it? Venticide. No shit. I mean the swirly stuff. <laughs> he has been shot in the Cameron, fucking stomach. You got yourself hurt over this thing. <laughs> this looks like ass, mate. Surely they're gonna kill off kids, right? Like these kids are gonna be alive and well. All right, let's get into some combat, shall we? Want to beat some guys' ass off? Boing. I'll be honest here though. I think this formula with making like a witty character cast and all that stuff there is uh, not the best thing to do. I think if you like a game enough in terms of gameplay, you won't mind too much, obviously, but I think it's very off-putting for a lot of people because it just feels like a copy-pasted idea that we've seen 20,000 times. In fact, I feel like we see it in every AAA release. It just feels like the same exact story every time with the same character cast. I think when, like, every five lines they're trying to be, like, witty and hip, it just falls so extremely flat that you don't give a shit. Because not only is it not that funny, it also does so like the serious moments aren't that serious. I think it's supposed to be the opposite where you are serious most of the time when you mix in a little joker in there. It's like it's lighthearted and nice. But I'm not right. So what the hell do I know? We're about to get in so much goddamn trouble. And then we get back and then the kids are kidnapped and we got to save him. And then it's like now we have the conviction we need to go into the wall. Okay, you shoot the thing. It opens. We take a, a bell. <laughs> Is that your definition of being careful or whoops? See, like... Wait, that's the same joke. Be um, be um, be Wait, what do you mean run? I want to fight them, man. Boop, boop, boop. Also, music kind of slapping though. And jump and bonk. And also, this isn't to say that you can make some fun writing in terms of like being funny. <laughs> But it just we doesn't really work in these games. Actually, a game that we played recently that did it well was On Guard. Because that's just stupid funny. And because that's also because it's not supposed to be serious at all. But they focus on it and go with it. And everything fits together. From the character movements, to the combat, to the voice acting, to the writing. Like, all of it is just good. Okay, I need to stop talking about other games than the game I'm playing. But already, I just don't really care about what's going on. Because they're just making jokes. They're about to die. It, it's, like, cities getting attacked. They're still, like, being witty. For what? Like, imagine in Last of Us 1, right? In the intro with Joel, when the incident happens, he just like, guess I gotta adopt a kid. And that's just, that's just the end of that. Oh, here he comes. Get down. Fucking hell. There's some freezer shit, though. I feel like if they don't care about the city and people at all, just break it all. Like, who cares? Oh. Fucking spit. Who the fuck was that? You aren't done here, asshole. We're in a little boss what battle. Are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No, don't. Excuse me. No, Luna. You would. Luna. What? That's not the reaction to someone who just died. You think she's dead. All your reaction is... Luna. Oh, okay, here we go. That looks kind of cool. Oh, what the... How do I do that? It's just new magic? Oh, this is like a super mode we get later or something. That looks sick. It's supposed to be exposition, right? You're supposed to explain what goes on in the prologue and it's like blah, blah, blah. I think to have it actually hit is make it as a backstory after building the character from the future and having a flashback. I think that's why a lot of things do that. Plus, it makes it easier to write. And then you'll actually care. Even though you know what happens, in this case, we kind of know what's going to happen. It's going to be sad. But we don't care about the characters yet at the same time. Who's this Kirken? He looks cool, though. In this case, Reminds yes. me of just Jedi Fallen Order. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. So, stop making jokes! Please, for one second, Jack Sparrow. Join the fight. Stop, stop. I just want to know who laughs at it, man. Maybe someone oh, finds it funny. Maybe I'm just being a piece of shit. Also, why does the game look ten times lines. better all of a sudden? All magic in this world Cinematic. Does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. I'm looking at the water. More water. Whoa. They're everywhere. Pretty cool. Yes. They cover Avium like a net, bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Ever War. Politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Dragons. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost Looks or scattered, sick. 
If this was the intro, I'd be a lot more hyped for this, man. I don't even know what's going on. We can actual law now. And dragons. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. As I mentioned, like, I think what we just played could have been, like, more of, like, a flashback thing, actually. Maybe not even played through, but, like, experienced through Jack telling it rather than actually doing it like that and just throwing you off. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. <laughs> I'll fix that. That's not good. Ascendant Studios presents. I don't know what else they've made, but I feel like they can probably make good games. Look at that big guy. Like, I want to fight that guy. And the thing is, usually I'm all for an amazing story. There are so many games that I love that are just only reading and storylines, but it requires it to be the main focus, I think, and actually being engaging and fun and different. But right now, I just want to get to the gameplay, to be honest. Cool looking place. This looks like the place we saw in the trailer oh, some shit. months ago. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Do we have like a dash or something? Boom, boom, boom. Also, they're very nice with where we can hit with the hitboxes, it seems. Uh, control. Okay, control this dash. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> can spam that shit. I think what I would have done here, if we have to stick with the story, yeah, doing all of what we did in the first 20, 25 minutes there, it could have been done in, like, the opening cinematic in, like, two or three minutes, right? It would have had the exact same emotional effect, but, of course, it also played as a tutorial. But this right here is a lot better tutorial already. Like, you know you can sh press this to shoot. That's all we learned in the first 20 minutes. And then you can do this. I learned it. I think this right here would have been so much better. And also show off what the game has to offer rather than all the other stuff there. So maybe we should take these here to get some extra cash and essence. Now, should I be looking for like extra things and secrets and shit? Because you can kind of, you know, go up and place like this. Oh, I sure should. Nice. We get like 40 gold otherwise. We get 1,000 gold right there. We'll take that. And up here too. Here we go. Give it to me. So we take a red spell. take the blue one off? What? What? Put it on top of. Just... Just reach for the red sigil, Jack. <laughs> See, that was... That was it. This balances it out. These two as a duo feels a lot more natural. Also, now we... Oh, oh, okay. See the damage here. What little guys? Oh, it's, it's also decent AoE there. So we can cycle through with this. Um, okay, you see the process change immediately. Because you, else you have to wait for the animations and know which one you're changing to. If they're going to be like 4 plus. But yeah, not bad. It's simple. It's nice. So we press C to heal our 1 HP there. Cool. What is this? A totem. I'll take a totem. How much range do we have on the red though? Oh, we have decent. Come here. Boop. That's it right there. Wait, how much cooldown is done that? Hold things you cast and pull them towards you. Wee, bonk. Bonk. Mm. Yeah, punk. <laughs> Next one, green one. We're just getting them all already. And this is like a semi-automatic. I want a sniper one. Just like one big, fat, long-range shot, man. And yeah, I can really appreciate all the just little extra things they're hiding right now. Chests and all this. Like, it's good. Augment, animate. Oh, oh we're making him dab. Oh, oh, epic dab, guys. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Give me more chests. Anyone else play like a lot of games and then their fingers just don't know what the fuck they're doing because every game has either E or F as interact. And when you've played one game that has the other one, you press that one, but that one does something else. And I'm just getting fucked up by it. Just piss me off. No one cares. <laughs> it seems like they've also toned down the particles a lot after getting so much feedback about it, which is very nice. Like it was actually insane. I remember seeing it. And it's like you can't see anything, but it doesn't look bad or feel bad at all. Shieldsman can cast spells, uh, absorb damage and block things, do enough damage to break it. Okay. Also, healing flask heals fully up no matter what, it seems. At least for now. Oh, abilities too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try. Shatter. Nah. Best game of all time. Bop, 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 bop. And bop. X to use a mana crystal. Look at this right now. This is what I'm talking about, man. We need more of this everywhere. It's just so fun. It also makes me hopeful that they might have hidden some very hidden things that have Easter eggs or something. Because with dashing and double jumping and that, there's a lot of stuff you can do. And, ah, what the f- What hit me? Oh, shit. That hurts. It's corruption or whatever. Hole. Oh! Little chest. All right, let's get going. Little arena here. Mini boss. There he is, it's him. He's coming for me. And dodge. Maybe we can look. Uh, we should probably check the damage. 
Fuck off. <laughs> Stupid guy. Oh, let's see green here. Green decent. Nope. Boom. Boom. Decent damage too. Let's see shatter. Oh, big damage on that. Also, do we reload when they... We don't reload when we're not using them. Okay. Maybe we get something like that. Oh, I fall off the fucking cliff. Shoot him. Kill him so much. Dutch. Yes, you're dead. I got a little armor thing stuff. How much RPG will this be? I don't know. Pretty clean and simple. What the hell is this? I'm just pressing the tab and this this. There's more to learn than just spell casting. Like what? In your case, self-control. I'm pretty sure he had a lot of self-control when his friend died and he just said, Oh man. You'll put in the time on the front lines like everyone. How much time are we talking? Great. Actual time skip time. How do we look now? We're gonna be like worn out. Oh. Looks kinda sick. So the Pidgeot trim. Grand Magnus on deck! With a Grand Magnus. <laughs> Smoke this. You're Holland Mead's oldest, aren't you? Yes, sir. Silas. You've got a fear in your eye you don't need today, son. <laughs> what are you, a pussy? Come on, you don't want to go out and die? Fucking dickhead. Today's the day they turn tail. I know these things. I told your father the same thing at sundown 10 when he was your age. Sure enough, it happened then, too. Bit easier to swallow when you're immortal, sir. <laughs> That's just a silly name to make our enemies cry at night. This is real. No Roshanian spell gets through this today. That right, I had that more emotional fucking weight than all of the intro right there. Why wasn't this the intro? And then they do a flashback five years ago, this happened. And then do a tutorial there and it'd be cool. And then we go back here like, oh, it's time to fucking go to war. So many things would have been just better, in my opinion. The weakest thing so far has been the first 30 minutes, which is not good. Also, I just realized something. Didn't they just kill off everyone with a British accent and it's just Americans left? Classic. And as Lucians, we love fish like you wouldn't believe, Jack. <laughs> That's a good line right there, just out of context for no reason. If they take our fish, sir, we're fucked. Oh, look at this. Beautiful looking. Can those big things be controlled? Surely. Kirkin's gonna yes, die sir. too, right? Surely. Jack, you help us win this. I'll know you're ready. All right. See, this right here, this is it. Actually getting, like, kind of excited to get in there. Let's go. Actually worth killing even the small things here, because they can give healing and they can give, like, essence. It's pretty good. Hey, don't do that, man. I hope or wish that was, like, a thing where when you cycle between things, they reload. Like, say I use all this. That'd be some sort of system like that, where if you spend the full of this, it reloads another one automatically or something. Because right now, in a lot of fights, it's not even worth really cycling unless they run away from you. Because right now, we're in, like, a thing where all of them can work at this range. So, there's no reason to ever really change. Which I guess is good for some, like, if they just prefer one over the other. Ow, slap me. I like feeling like it's actually worth to change around, right? A lot of games do the cheap way, which is just having ammo. So, you can't just use the same shit. And then some games, they make it even better, like, um, Ultra Kill. Where switching rewards you for just more damage overall if you're fast and round with it. But that's not like a triple A AAA standard to make games have a higher skill ceiling, I suppose. In the same way, at least. Well, we got Bingus Rick right here. That's your name? Bingus Rick? This is hard mode, by the way. Just, he hasn't even... He's dead. Arcanum, but I think this one's playing this. When your thing is full, you can earn and get talent points. Yes. I've got a little talent tree here. All oh, that does not look nice. This is somehow confusing to look at, even though it's the most simple thing I've ever seen. Well, let's get some crit damage. You can reset at any point with money. That's nice. You know I love that shit. It's hard defense right now. We are. Boop, boop, boop. Whoa, my God. Fucking hell, 3D. Hey. This would slap in 3D cinema, to be honest. But not like the newer version, it's just like the fucking blue and red glasses. Help. Give me a cool shot at least. Why do you wait till now to shoot it? Oh, fuck. We good, right? We can use that. It's just a fall. What's this? 
Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, I actually like the music, though. Because this does feel like on the edge of almost sci-fi-ish with the way the magic is presented. So it's a nice fitting track. We got a shatter ring. Ring. Put it on. Shatter damage. Yes. Give me all these chests. Oh, little... Okay, that, that blocked it. We fucked. Go. Watch this. Sick. All right, what's down here? It's gotta be something. The chest. Give me that. Oh, we can actually do a parkour. Oi, hold on. So it's just less thing, but we get... Oh, we got an extra blink. Do we now dash twice? That's huge. Blue. Bomb. Hey, big room. Ba -ba -bom. And... Ba -ba 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 and we could a little, uh, oh, oh, increase damage of all blue sigil strikes. Yes, please. This, boom, boom. Get me through. A red one. So you also got to change the red to shoot these ones. Yes. See, now that's a thing they could do on enemies. Say they have shields. Some shields can only be broken by certain colors. That's been done before, but so has everything else. So it kind of worked. Also, I just noticed you actually see the ring on my finger. Blast wave. So, oh, you can do that. And boom. And then the red one was here. Boom. That opens that door. Very nice. And we got another thing. Hell yeah. Cinder ring. Blast wave damage up. Nice. Damien try it. Should probably do that right now. You gotta do like boing, boing. See? I love it. You can live like a hundred of those in your game and I'll enjoy every one of them. Can you like stop it here and just have it... You can. Okay. That could open up for a lot more secrets too. And there's a time on it. Oh shit. Wait. We made it, we made it. Boing. Give me this. Let's get back on that. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Wait, where am I? It's like, bro, there's a chest up here as well. What? I'm actually getting too distracted. I'm just taking things by calling around just for fun. What's up with this thing? Purple? Oh, it's a grappling hook, isn't it? Ayas. Hello. Sir, it's the hand. The hand. Okay then. Definitely sure. This just got very important, sir. Agreed. You're clear for recon only. I do like how that masked Follow, though. Even his friend could still be alive, right? Like they could show some familiar faces. Let's see what we got. Let's try this blast wave thingy there. No. Oh wait, what the? Does like damage before would happen? I almost just died. I was doing it, but that is really good. And coming down the hall. Let's just follow. Yeah, yeah, we're learning a uh, grab and hook down here. This is gonna be sick. Look at this. Actually, kind of a shame that I gotta end this video here, but yeah, Immortals of Avium. It definitely did not start out strong. Gotta be honest there, and you could tell. Don't know how much deeper the story is gonna go, if it's gonna have some cool twists and turns, and actually like engaging writing all the way through, or just a couple cool points that happen. What I do know is that the game is decent. It's actually pretty fun. It feels alright. You can be fast paced, it can also be slower if you like that playstyle. Obviously, this is an early first impression kind of review but from what we've seen so far it, it's just kind of it's kind of good nothing groundbreaking or insane but it's definitely unique in its own way and i can see why most reviews from critics at least gave it between like a four to an eight out of ten i definitely agree it's somewhere in there and i think if it's on like game pass or if you get on like big discount or something it's definitely worth it you can probably get a lot of hours of entertainment out of it and it's just pretty good so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like helps out a lot leave a funny comment too i love reading them check out my twitter second channel stream merch links in the description. Of course, subscribe if you're around here. And as always, my name is Smith. Thanks for watching.